built in actions in this built in action classes without forward action and one include action and one switch action one local action add this class local action download action class exception handlers and uh, yeah these are the main built in action classes we have so in this built in action classes we know the importance of forward action and include action using this forward action and include action we can switch our request from one page to another page or one controller to another controller just we can switch our request we can switch our request means we can forward our request from one form to another form from one form to another form or from one controller to another controller let's say if you have two action classes from one action class to another action class if you want to send request or from one form to another form if you want to send the request using forward action we can send by using include action we can get the output i mean we can get the content of other form into the existing form so using forward action you can forward using include action we can include forward actions include actions they will help us to do forward and include operations forward and include operations you can do here okay so using switch action what we can do if you want to forward your request from one module to another module by using simple forward action class you can switch from one page to another page but it is possible in the same module itself if you have multiple modules in between multiple modules if you want to do forward operations just uh, let's say if you have a use case simple login use case after doing login if you are a employee you need to redirect it to employee module if you are a admin you need to redirect it to admin module let's say if you are a student you need to redirect it to student module let's say if you have a login page common login page for all the users and here if you have username password and the role if you have here role if you have role role admin let's say if you have multiple roles here let's say if you have multiple roles admin employee and a normal user general user if you have three roles here admin employee and user roles whenever i enter username password here whenever i enter username password along with role admin from my login page this one is login.jsp page from my login.jsp page if you want to shift to your request to admin module pages this one is default module login page is common so then you can call this one as a default module page if you have any default page like this login page from that default page to if you want to switch to admin module let's say if you have an admin page in admin module in admin module if you have an admin page admin login success page admin login success admin login success dot js page from this page to that page if you want to forward your request or else whenever you enter employee if it is employee if you want to shift to employee module if you want to switch to employee module employee module employee success page employee success page and whenever you login as a user from user from default to user module user success page if you want to switch your request from one module to another modules let's say from default module to admin module or default module to employee module or default module to a normal user module or else if you want to switch request between these modules from admin to employee or employee to user so this type of module to module communication if you want to do module to module communication you can do by using switch action class instead of using switch action class direct to forwards if you try to request by using a direct forward if you try to request we will get exception wherever you directly forward from default page to admin page all the required admin configurations it will search in the default xml file so that you can't able to execute admin module okay in case of multiple modules you need to switch from one module to another module by using switch action class how we can use multiple modules for a application how you can use multiple modules here in case of multiple modules how many xml files we have to use and how to configure them we know how to use one single xml file let's say if you have multiple xml files for multiple modules 
if you have directory structure like this let's say if you have application employee management system ems for this ems application if you have multiple modules one admin one employee and one, one user if you have three view resources to put view pages admin folder employee folder user folder i have for my employee management system i have three modules one is admin one is employee and one is user and web inf how many web infs we required only one web inf under web inf classes so for classes here for admin classes here we required a package admin package for employee employee package and for user user package okay package names can be anything based on our required namespace you can use package names like com.ems.admin com.ems.employee com.ems.users so these are my packages and here libraries are required along with this libraries i need to create a web.xml file basically up to now for default module xml file name we used to configure struts hyphen config.xml file so that struts hyphen config.xml file is for default user struts config.xml file we have to create for default user and for every module we need to create one more xml file here for admin we need to create one more xml file struts hyphen admin.xml file that xml file name can be anything okay admin.xml file for employee struts hyphen employee.xml file and for user struts hyphen user.xml file so for each module we need to maintain one one xml file one xml file is for default module the remaining xml files are for modules particular modules this one is for default and the remaining are for particular admin module employee module and users modules so that many xml files we need to configure here in case if you have many xml files how your action servlet will read that many xml files through web.xml file we know how to configure single xml file by using init parameter config in case if you have multiple xml files how many init parameters i should configure under web.xml file how many xml files your action servlet need to read getting whenever i submit a request action servlet by reading these all xml files it need to process your request so first it need to read this xml files right how to read xml files by configuring that xml files under web.xml file so how to configure web.xml file in this case a web.xml file you need to create in that web.xml file in between web app and web app servlet servlet name servlet name name can be anything servlet name and servlet class servlet class the class name org dot apache dot struts dot action dot action servlet our servlet class then here how many init parameters i should configure for this servlet if you have only one single xml file one init param one init parameter is required here in case of multiple xml files for modularization in case of multiple xml files for each module you need to configure one one init parameter here init parameter param name param value so here to read a default xml file we have how many xml files one default xml file and the remaining are module xml files so for read a default xml file here param name we should use config param name should be config param name should be config param value your default xml file location web inf slash struts hyphen config dot xml file so this one is the default xml file param name and here it is param value so for the remaining modules which parameter name which parameter value we have to use for a default module parameter name should be config for the remaining modules you have to use parameter name config slash your module name this parameter name you have to use 
for the remaining modules config slash your module name so how many modules we have here admin employee user so here you need to configure three more unit parameters with parameter names config slash module names and that respective xml files we need to configure there so here configure init parameters init hyphen param param name param value init param here param name config slash if it is admin module config slash admin that admin xml file you have to read here web inf starts hyphen admin dot xml file so in the same way you need to configure the remaining xml files also here so your actions are loaded first you need to read multiple xml files these all xml files you need to read by using which names it will read config config slash module names it will read all these parameters it will load into one single object module config object without right in architecture action select init method what it will do it will read your web dot xml file init parameters by reading this init parameters it will read your xml files after reading xml files the data where it will store in a module config object so as per architecture your actions are relate your actions are relate will read all these xml files data it will read all these xml files data this xml files data it will store into only one single object module, module config in module config object it will store all your, all your xml files data so then which xml file data it will use when i submit a request if i submit a request using my application name if i submit a request here application name slash login slash login dot jsp so once if i load login dot jsp application name slash if i call login is it belongs to any module application slash login application slash login it is not belongs to any module so whenever i request it it will try to read this login xml file from your server and it will load here and whenever you submit your login form whenever you submit your login form that request will go to action servlet and by reading which xml file it will process default xml file it will process in case if you submit any request by using application name slash admin module name slash if you try to request for registration if it is your action registration dot jsp page if you load once if you submit it will generate action registration dot do so here application name along with your module name if you have your action this action if it contains any module name as a prefix so whenever you submit this form it will read this module name this one is application name here it is application name and this one is module name and this one is action name so whenever you submit it for your application it will find out this module here so it will read your admin module data using this admin admin module data it will process registration dot do so that registration dot do action where i should configure under admin xml file so based on this prefix names based on your action prefix names it will find out whether it is belongs to a particular module or default module based on that module your actions are let will process your it will process your request okay it will process your request based on this module names okay so based on this module names it will recognize this xml files so that this module prefix name and here your config slash this name these both need to be equal this name and your form actions prefix names these names should be equal then only it will recognize your xml file and it will process using that xml file okay so in case of modularization whatever the name we are using here for our module the same names you better to maintain for your folder names why because this folder names only it will use here as a module names okay so this folder names you better to maintain here as a parameter suffix names config slash admin this admin name you better to maintain here as a your view resource folder name okay so then when you submit your request based on that folder name it will recognize your xml file using that xml file only it will process your operations okay just i'll go through one basic application then you can understand which xml file it is processing so then later we'll see how to switch from one module to another module